pre-roll. In this video, I will demonstrate the technique of hand-sewn, two-layered, side-to-side bow anastomosis. Lay the segments to be joined side-to-side -side in contact for 10 centimeters or so. Using double-ended 2-0 PDS, unite the two segments of bow with a seromuscular stitch, tying a secure knot and applying a clip to one of the needles. Insert a continuous layer of seromuscular sutures. This is the posterior outer layer of the anastomosis. After a distance of approximately 10 centimeters, tie a secure knot using either an Aberdeen knot as shown here or a reef knot and place a clip on the needle. The posterior outer layer of the anastomosis is now complete. Now the bowel must be incised. One advantage of this technique compared to, for example, an end-to-end -end anastomosis is that the incisions can be made exactly congruous. In vivo, the bowel can be opened with cutting diathermy, but here I am using dissecting scissors. Whichever technique is used, ensure that you only incise the anterior wall of the bowel and do not cut through and through. Now fashion the posterior inner layer. This begins in the middle of the posterior wall. Again, using a double-ended 2-0 PDS, place an all-coat stitch between the adjacent cut edges of bow and tie in a secure knot. Place a clip on one of the needles. Continue towards one corner with over and over all coat stitches taking all layers of the bow wall. To negotiate the corners, canal suturing is used. At the apex, pass the needle from in to out, cross to the other apex and pass the needle from out to in, then out again, to leave a loop on the mucosa. Further canal stitches are inserted by crossing the midline and passing the needle from out to in, then in to out. Once around the corner, the anterior inner layer is formed by over and over all coat stitches.
stop just before the middle of the anterior wall and return to complete the other half of the posterior inner wall. The other half of the posterior inner wall is completed using over and over all coat stitches working towards the corners. Again, the corners are negotiated with canal sutures and the other half of the anterior inner wall is completed by continuing towards the midline. Complete the anterior inner wall by tying the two sutures together. The anterior outer wall is completed with the sutures used to form the posterior outer layer. Continue to take seromuscular bites working towards the midpoint of the anterior wall. Tie the two sutures together to complete the anterior outer layer. The anastomosis is now complete.
a doughnut of sutures can be felt. You can test the integrity of your anastomosis by incising the bowel and examining the anastomosis from within. As can be seen, there is a wide anastomosis between the two segments of bowel.